It's Thursday, so let's eat. A farm to table restaurant in the upstate is putting a twist on your breakfast and lunch favorites. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli okay. is live in Pendleton at Ruffage. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Fred. Is this not the best view you've had in a while for breakfast? Talking lunch, too. I'm eating my way through breakfast, which could sort of go for lunch. That beautiful egg sandwich, it was on a bagel. We love roughage here in Pendleton. We have Jennifer Hawkins joining us this morning, one of the owners. We want you to watch all the things they have to offer. This is not even touching half of the menu, but we've got plenty more to talk to after you see. Take a look. All right, to be completely honest, the only thing I knew about this restaurant in Pendleton, South Carolina, was that their pictures of their food online looked too good to be true. But I followed my gut, or maybe just my appetite. It led us here to Ruffage in Pendleton, and boy, did they not disappoint. Take a look. Ruffage means to us real food, real ingredients, fresh. We try to use the best of everything. That's Jennifer Hawkins, a northerner with more than 25 years of restaurant experience. Her partner, Eric Omick, has more than 30 years, most of it in Hawaii. After working for others for what seemed like forever, they decided to leave the Greenville restaurant scene and open a farm-to-table restaurant in Pendleton with a humble exterior. We just kind of like the simplicity of what we do, but when you come inside, it's a different story for our menu. Order up. Breakfast and lunch is served all day, so it's never too early for barbecue shrimp and grits. So I pan sear the Argentinian shrimp. Then we're gonna grab our barbecue compound butter, which is a blend of paprika, garlic, onion, and butter. Omix butter has so much flavor, it takes the place of the typical sauce or gravy. He adds applewood smoked bacon, grape tomatoes. This is Kentucky honey baked city ham. Heavy cream cheddar cheese, fruit, and homemade pickles finishes off the dish. Or how about a Reuben, or in this case, the Rubicon sandwich. I actually make a brine for it with like peppercorns, bay leaves, garlic, chili pepper. Corned beef brisket brined for three days, slow roasted with a chicken stock and sliced thick. Ruffage aioli, sweet pickles, onions, chili pepper. We even put some dashi, which is a Japanese seasoning. Don't miss the way they make their special coleslaw. We serve it with our basil vinaigrette, which is made with fresh basil, dry mustard, mayonnaise, distilled white vinegar, and peppercorns. It's a menu made from good taste and time served. Now, isn't the best way to finish the perfect meal with something sweet? How about this French toast bread pudding? And you know it's good when the chefs say wow when it comes out, right guys? From Ruffage in Pendleton, we say, let's, let's eat. eat. Mm, fine, no problem. Yes, so much fun. Okay, we're here at Ruffage. As you saw, some beautiful lunch selections. We got on to di uh, breakfast, I should say, because they're open 7 to 2.30, Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, they do a couple special dinners that we'll talk about as well. Occasionally, you got to sign up for those. And Jennifer, one of the best parts about coming to Ruffage is the food's from close by, and so is the staff. They're important to you. Tell me about them. Yes, our staff. We have the best staff in town. Um, all the guys and girls that work with us are just fantastic. They're great to our customers and our guests, and it truly makes a big difference when you go out. And uh, this guy right here, Henry. Henry, one of your <laughs> high school staff members, yes. which is so impressive because, you know, these days with the pandemic, there's a lot going on. You really yeah. do need to make some concessions sometimes because people get short staffed. Is that the case here? Um, no, actually, everyone's been, you know, wonderful and healthy and staying really good here. And, um, but we have plenty of staff, which is great. A lot of places don't, unfortunately, but we do. Nice. And um, we love our kids that work here. So. I love it. They're making things like the Cuban we just put oh, on the table. Oh, yes. The Cuban's fantastic. Yes. Come and get it for lunch today. What is in there? It has uh, freshly sliced ham, pork, our Dijon, uh, Dijonese basil sauce. Oh, my God. Gosh. Melted Swiss cheese and our collards, which is why we call it the Carolina Cuban. That's what makes a difference in our Cuban. You got to try that and much more. I'm working my way through breakfast. We've got plenty here on Let's Eat all throughout the morning and on 7 News. We'll see you back here in just a few minutes.